Hello, welcome to another video. I'm so glad that you decided to tune in today because I want to show you how you can change your layout from this vertical view to a more uh, horizontal view for all of your days throughout the month. If you do not want all your 30 days going down, um, you can actually make um, different tabs actually a separate list that's going to take you to um, a more horizontal view of each day of the month. And I am going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go to the end and hit add list. And we are going to put, I'm going to put today is, and I'm going to add a little emoji because I got a little, um, surprise for when you add a certain emoji it's going to make um, like a celebration confetti so let me just show you how that works but anyway <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and take this um, and move it down okay I guess my mouse didn't want to click it okay so we're gonna go ahead and move it to um, the the list that's going to be right beside your january monthly view so it's taking me a second to go ahead and go back to january all right so we are here in january and right now we have a vertical view of the month but if you want to change it to a horizontal view all you have to do is create the tab that you want your day to go in. So for instance, we're gonna start right here with Saturday the 1st, and we're just gonna take it and move it over. And you see how it had that um, celebration confetti um, effect? You can do that when you add like um, a celebration emoji, okay? So um, instead of us having the same old vertical, we're gonna set up how you can make it horizontal. So. For instance, if you want each day to be a separate list, you can. So everything that happened um, here, we're going to move it over. Okay. And if you want to move your full list, you can. So it'll be all in one day. Okay. And every time, I love that. Every time you add something, it just celebrates. I love it. So... I'm just going to move a few of them over just to see, for instance, you can do this for each day in January and you have here um, what today is and you can stroll through the whole day and you can do this for each. I'm just going to copy it for time's sakes and each day will start being horizontal. Okay, now you're going to have, if you do this for each day of the month, you're going to have 30 different lists between each month. Now, it's going to be a super long list, but hey, um, that's fine. I can show you a quick way to get to each day. All right, so if you're going to do this, it's good to create um, links that will link all your days to this January. So you can just automatically click and it'll take you to that day. For instance, let me give you an example. Okay, so um, first off, since this is the first day of the month, I wanna go ahead and click on that day. Not the actual list, but the actual day um, tab that has Saturday the 1st on it. And I wanna go up to these three dots and copy link, okay? Once you copy the link, um, you want to click on your January monthly view and you want to scroll to the description. Okay. And what you're going to do is, um, paste your link. Okay. Now, when you finish, it's going to show you a Trillo link that is going to take you directly to that day. So if I click on it, it's going to open up Saturday. Okay. Now, if this tab is if this day is like the 30th and it's further down, 
when you click on that link, it's going to take you right to that day. Okay, so it'll make you eat, make it easier to navigate. Okay, but you also want to, for instance, um, make a link uh, to January just in case you are at the very beginning of your planner. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to copy a link of January. Okay. And if you're in your year to the glance, year at a glance, and you're just strolling through your months, and you have a link within um, each month to take you to that month, it'll make it easier to navigate throughout your planner. So I'm gonna click on January within the year at a glance, and in the description, I'm gonna add that link that I just copied. Okay, and you can do this for each month. Now it's gonna say monthly view. But, for instance, if you change this January monthly view title, if you change the title to um, January, Jan monthly, uh -oh, oh, monthly view, then when you go over to your year at a glance, it's going to update that to Jan monthly view. And if you have all of your months in here, uh, for instance, if this was December, you would click on it and it's going to take you directly to that link. And then if you want to go to a specific day, you'll click on the day that you had strolled, um, that you had created a link for, and it'll take you straight to that day. So it's pretty cool because you're starting at your beginning of your planner and you're clicking on a certain month. Okay, and it's going to open it up and you're clicking on that month to take you directly to that month. And when it do, you're going to stroll and take you to a certain day within that month. So you're linking everything together to make it easier to navigate throughout your planner. If, for instance, you want a navig uh, horizontal um, view. It'll make it easier for you to get to each day. It'll also, if you want to keep it as um, a vertical view, you can do the same thing. You can create links for each of these days to go directly under your um, monthly view and then make sure your monthly view is connected and linked to your year at a glance month for that particular month. Okay, so um, this month in January is about over, but if you want to start doing this for the month of February, that would be great, and I am going to show you how to do that. Okay, so first, I'm gonna I'm click on February and change this to um, February monthly view. Okay, and then I'm going to go up here to these three dots, copy the link, okay, and I am going to stroll back and find Fe February in my year uh, at a glance, okay, I'm going to stroll, take whatever this is out, and I am going to paste my February link, so it'll take me directly to February. Okay, now we are going to set up our days for the month of February. So I'm just going to put today is and of course I'm going to have my little celebration emoji and I am going to stroll this back down. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do next. Okay, we got right here in February. We're going to list all of our days behind February, okay? And all you have to do now is copy this 28 times uh, copy list and hit copy. And we're going to make that um, 20, uh, 28 times, okay? And I'll show you that. I'm going to go ahead and do it and then come back and show you how it looks. Okay, now I have copied the title today is um, 28 
28 times for the month of February. So we're going to have more of a horizontal view of each day. Um, so we're going to go right here to February and we're going to leave the weeks uh, within there. But we're going to take Tuesday the 1st and stroll it over. And you're going to get all of your days. You're going to take each one of your days and put it all in the different list okay so we're gonna take our time and just put a day in each list and i'll show you how that looks once we finish if you want to um copy your link first before you move it over for instance um, for the fifth you click on it and the three dots you want to copy link and add it to your February description you can and it you can do all that before you move them over for instance if I go ahead and move this over to the fifth one and we click on our February month view and Saturday the 5th it's going to take you down to that month so if you would like to link all of your days first and then move them over into the different slots that is okay as well or you can move them all over and then copy the links it's a little time consuming but in the end it's going to be all worth it because if you go like every time you open your planner you're at your year at a glance you can go to february i'm just showing you this again and we want to see the February month view and then you go to a certain day within that month and it's going to take you there. I think it's super cool. Okay, now that we have all of our days in each list horizontally, okay, and we also got all of our links um, loaded into our February monthly view so if you hit the little arrow down it's going to show you all of your days in February now this last link let me see if it's an error yeah okay so the 28th I need to redo okay let me see um, 28th I'm just going to redo that really quick copy link I must have Put a space in it or something um, but it's okay easy fix and it's the last one here it always goes go down to the last one that you um, did okay let me see if I corrected that and then it's gonna recognize the link and I erased 27 okay no problem I must have backspaced too much so we're gonna go to the 27th and click on it copy link okay go back to your february month view and we know that this one is the 28th see i added that <laughs> okay so we're going to click on the one above that hit enter and then paste okay let's see if that is now corrected all right let's see all right so it's in order okay all right so um i'm just going to show it how show you how it um functions okay for instance if you are at the beginning of your planner you look at your year at a glance we are going to go to february and we should have a february monthly view link and it's going to take us directly to it and then we're going to stroll down again and I'm going to go to Tuesday the 1st and it's going to pull it up. And um, when I went to Tuesday the 1st, I also have put a, a link in the description to the actual month of February. So it'll take me back to February. You can do that for all of your days if you like. Uh, you don't have to. But if you want to just automatically go back to the beginning of the month, that's fine. Um, let's see. Let's go to the 24th. 
Uh oh, it clicked, kicked me out. Hold on one second. I'm gonna log right back in there. Okay. You're at a glance. All right, and we're gonna go to our February and stroll down. We're gonna go to the month view, stroll down, and I wanna go to, which day do I wanna go to? I said the 24th, and it's gonna take me to the 24th, okay? So that's how it functions. And I have an important date I want to put there. So I'm going to find a cute birthday picture because um, it's uh, someone's birthday. So I want to do, I want to go find birthday images offline and see if I can make one, one of them my, uh, um, birthday header let's see which one do I like um, I get so indecisive you guys <laughs> okay so I think uh, I like I think I like this one add to photos Okay, and we're going to go back to our board. No, not that. Back to our board, and I'm going to click on that day and choose from photos. This one here. And it should make it my cover photo. Okay, and I am going to add here. Uh, down in the custom fields I have it's your birthday um, and I'm gonna put the 24th oh I didn't put a, a specific name <laughs> so I am going to put one that says name I know I made a tab that says name okay and put hubby let's see how that looks on the front all right that's not too bad or you can create a custom tab that says of course I'm gonna get a little mm -hmm. all right and I'm gonna go in this one and delete what I put in those fields Okay, and hit clear and for the name where's the name I'm gonna clear it out and yay so I got that and I'm all set okay so I got the birthday image there and if you're like me um, I'm a, I, I put the February monthly link in the description um, of each day so all you have to do is click to go back to the view of the month and pick another day and then I'm gonna change the cover on that one as well let's see um, like this one and then go back Change the cover and we got it. Okay. All right. And add a card. Mm -mm. So we got that there and it's super convenient to have the links so you can navigate more in your new planner. So I hope you like this video today and I hope it's 
it's going to make your life a little bit easier and make this planner a little bit more functional okay so um this planner is free in the description box below i will um list it in the description box below so feel free to go ahead and click it and download it and if you're new to this channel go ahead and like and subscribe so you can get more videos like this uh, pop up in your notifications okay so this is it for today i will be back with more and until next time have the most amazing day and we'll see you later